he's not going to go somewhere where he's the backup, the straight up backup. You know what I mean? And like, I don't think the Ravens are going to pay him a bunch of money considering, you know, they just went out and got Odell Beckham. They have, uh, you know, they have JK Dobbins who they really like. He's as, as JLC pointed out this week, he's in a contract here. Um, the, I think, I mean, the, the teams at the top are, are pretty good list. The Rams definitely a good sleeper. The chargers would be a little interesting too, right? Hmm. Given the, all the drama with Austin Eckler. Um, but I would think, Dolphins or Bills make the most sense because one, his hometown team, that scheme really fits the way that he plays, the way that he runs you know, that one cut. When he man, when he gets that one cut and then the outside, he is lethal on home run hits. Uh, they, you know, they struggle to keep guys healthy. Although, you know, typically Shanahan McDaniel style offenses in front office don't want to invest uh, in running backs that heavily. And then again, like his brother's playing with the Bills, so if he's willing to take less money to go to Buffalo, although. The other thing about the brother stuff, like I would, it would be a little weird. So my brother works at, like, let's say he works, at, he works at Share File, right? Or like a better example, like I work at CBS. CBS hires my brother Charlie to like do the same job, but like he's like, like he's like, you know, like, like Dalvin Cook is a more established veteran than James Cook, you know, like is Dalvin going to come in and take his brother's job, like steal carries from his brother? That would be kind of weird, right? You'd be taking bread off the table, even though you get to play with him. Yeah, James but might I, not want him. Yeah, James might not want him, but I feel like Dalvin wants a job. So if that's what's offered to him, what is he going to say? You no, can't take, oh, my God. What if he's, he's like, look, I didn't want to play with my brother. I hate my brother. Like, John, like I'm like breach, man. I hate my brother, but I want that. <laughs> I want that cash and I want those carries. Has Dalvin said anything publicly? Like, obviously, I know that DeAndre Hopkins did that whole thing about the things that he's looking for. Dalvin, I don't believe, has said anything about this situation, about the Vikings or where he's going. What's interesting, and Breach, I did actually check these numbers. This was in our chat, is um, some of those teams at the top, we have seen some running backs rushing yards season totals kind of shift with this Dalvin Cook news. So looking at Miami, Jeff Wilson's rush yards prop yesterday is 600 and a half. Now it's 550 and a half. You got Raheem Mostert also yesterday, uh, 575 and a half today, 525 and a half. What do you guys make of this? Uh, uh, just, yeah. sorry, go ahead, Rich. That was, it just seems like uh, the odds makers feel pretty confident that, Dalvin Cook might end up in Miami because that's the only reason you would lower those numbers substantially. Uh, and, and you look at what each of those guys did last season in Miami. I think uh, most are rushed for almost 900 yards. And then obviously Jeff Wilson got traded there, so we don't know what he would do in a full season. But in a half season, he hit nearly 400. Uh, you're giving me Mostert and Wilson both at those numbers. I would I would hammer the over because a you don't even know if dalvin cook's going to end up in miami uh and if he doesn't i feel like those over hits the overs hit for both guys easy and then if dalvin cook does end up in miami it's not like mike mcdale has an offense where he's got a guy playing every single down in every single quarter dalvin cook will come off the field most certain wilson will still play uh so yeah at, at those numbers i love both the overs there um would you what would you set the, and I know we didn't talk about this beforehand, but it just occurred to me, like, what, like, if you had to blindly set Dalvin Cook's over under rush yards for, for this year, not knowing where he's going to play. In Miami, you... oh, not knowing. Yeah. That's hard, because you don't know what kind of quarterback or what kind of scheme he's going to be in. Yeah, I mean, this is just, the, what's wild is that the books are like, to Breach's point, are just, you know, the, the, the heavy adjustment, sort of panic adjustment on these props. I mean, I, you know, I'd love to see, like, I don't even know that you can – I mean, I guess that this is based on a simulation where they say, okay, this is what we think. I mean, like, you know, it's like Steven O runs a simulation for Sportsline and and we come away with, all right, you know, this is what it would do to most or this is what it would do to Wilson if Cook was on the, on the Dolphins. But, like, to drop all three of those guys, like a guy on the Broncos and two guys on the um, – on the uh on the on the dolphins is, is kind of crazy. I would probably say like 750 for Dalvin, just because I think wherever he goes, he's probably not going to be the feature back. You see, 885 was his his number before. I mean, he could e easily hit that if he's healthy and he lands on a great situation. But um, you know, I don't think that like we're gonna see a massive number in terms of oh, shout out Dom in the chat had the, the same number. Um, good job. Uh or or bad job, depending on what it is. I think <laughs> like you know, um I you know, I, I just think that we'll see. 
He's just not going to go somewhere where he's the like the guy. I mean, you know, there's just not well, many. Well, Miami, you know, no way. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're just going to mix it up. Um, worth noting that Mike Florio, um, who is a Vikings fan, uh, actually blasted the Vikings. Vikings send strange mes- message by dumping Dalvin Cook. Um, yes, they need the cash and cap space to sign Justin Jefferson, but it would have been easy to exercise the right to restructure Cook's contract and push cap dollars to future years as the cap keeps going up and up. On the one hand, there's a certain amount of self-awareness that comes to recognizing that having Cook on the team will deliver a Super Bowl win this year. On the other hand, why wave a white flag preemptively? Um, if you're Minnesota, should, like, I mean, all due respect to Alexander Madison, I think he's a good running back. I don't think he's Dalvin Cook. You know, is this like, sh- I mean, should they have kept Dalvin Cook? Like, you know, you you just restructure his deal and bring it back for another year and let him play it out. And maybe he wasn't willing to just yeah. play on a one-year deal. It's entirely possible, too. It's, it, it's you know, it, between this and, you know, you, you Daniil Hunter being rumored to be on the trade block, like maybe the Dolphins, yeah. I mean, maybe the Vikings 3-1 to one was a good number after all to win that division. Yeah, and the one thing about Davin Cook, though, is that he's gotten to the four, Pro Bowl in four straight years. We're putting, you, you know, Brenton spinning his over under uh, at what, 750. And this is a guy who has hit, has rushed for at least 1,100 yards in four straight seasons. So that tells you that uh, it, it feels like the Vikings were just ready to move on, or that if they it, tried to renegotiate with Davin Cook, that he said, yeah, look at my numbers. There's no way I'm taking a pay cut. Cut me. I'll go find somewhere. I'll find some money somewhere else. So it is interesting. And the fact that he there's not a spot for him to get uh, be the number one guy and get 250 carries, which is basically what he's hit in each of the past four seasons, if not higher, uh, that makes it even more interesting. Because I think that's going to be a big part of his decision is where can I get the most playing time? I realize I'm not going to be an every down guy, but where do I get the most playing time? Where do I get the most money? And so I think those are the two factors he's going to consider the most. Yeah. I would say too, that just finally, this is probably his last given his age and he's 20, he'll turn 28 in um, August, like right before the season starts. You know, he, if any sort of deal he gets here is probably his last big ish contract. You know, he'll probably, I mean, you put three more years, maybe for Dalvin cook, um, you know, running back, running back shelf life, hard to figure out. And, uh, won't be getting a you know, massive contracts moving forward. I wouldn't guess. Does this affect the Brinson model uh, for the Vikings <laughs> this year? Their win total set to eight and a half, and the over juice to minus one twenty five. No Dalvin Cook, possibly no Hunter. Is that who else is on the block? The Neil Hunter's been traded uh, on the trade block. Rumor to be uh, shopping him. Already traded Zadarius Smith. Already traded Zadarius Smith. Mm-hmm. Zadarius Smith. Um, well, eleven and zero in one score games last year. No, the Brinson model uh, uh, unchanged. We sort of factored <laughs> this in. Um, the, the computer was aware that Dalvin Cook might not be on the team. Had them going eight, had them going eight and nine anyway. Although I had them beating San Francisco at home, so the algorithm may uh, may want to reconsider that. And uh, yeah, seven and ten is entirely possible for the Vikings this year. And I do want to throw one more thing out because I mentioned prominently in the chat is that the the Dolphins did draft a running back this year, so they literally have three running backs right now that Mm. uh, you know they're probably going to be planning on using. You throw Dalvin Cook in there, that's four running backs. It's not going to be easy to get a ton of playing time. But I do think that uh, Wilson and Mozart still have the edge because they know the offense better than Cook would or better than a rookie would.